I designed an electronics platform to play with, and it took me four iterations to get it right. That would have taken me 12 hours on an Ender 3 SE, only four hours on a faster printer. I am addicted to speed. I'll explain it all on today's Film of Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Film of Friday is also brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I've been having a lot of fun using old Ender 3 boards as Arduino boards, but I wanted a platform to build on. So I designed this in Tinkercad. It's got a slot for switches, LEDs, on-off switch, and even slots for stepper motors, and I want to expand from there. So I printed one on my Ender 3 SE, and this is it right here. came out nice. I used my extra fast 0.28 profile. still took three hours to print this. I need faster. A lot faster. I also miss the days when I had an enclosed chamber and I could print ABS. This is my original 3D printer from 10 years ago. It's a DaVinci 1.0. Had an all metal hot ink, could print ABS, fully enclosed, $500. From here, I advanced to this. This is the Flash Forge Adventure 3. It's a small build area, but it prints ABS, PLA, enclosed chambers. Worked pretty well for $399. But it wasn't fast. And then I got one of these. This is the Bamboo Lab X1. And it prints good, it prints fast, but it's $1,200. They also make a similar machine for $699 called the P1S. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those. But I do have one of these. This is the Creality K1. Same size build area as an Ender 3. Fully enclosed, high temperature hot end. It's $599, but right now on sale for $399. Link in the description below. But my favorite printer has become this one. This is the Creality K1 Max. It prints fast, it prints good, 300 by 300 by 300 build area. It's awesome, $899. You get one of these for $719 right now. Link in the description below. So I decided to print this on those three machines and compare to what I'm getting on the Ender 3. Rather than print the whole thing, I decided to start with just printing the base at a 0.28 layer height using my extra fast profile on the Ender 3. Just wanted to see if the board would fit in and hold. And it did. And at that extra fast profile on the Ender 3, it took 80 minutes to print this. So now I tried it on all three machines at a 0.28 layer height. On the K1, it fit actually nicer and held 29 minutes. So almost one third the time to print this. The X1, a little bit tighter. I had to really push this in. So it's a little bit off in the dimensions. 28 minutes to print this one at a 0.28 layer height. And finally, the K1 Max. For some reason, this thing prints faster than the other two. Even though I'm using the same slicer for the K1 and the K1 Max, I'm using Creality Print. But this thing fits a little bit looser, but nice. So it fits like the K1, but only took 24 minutes to print this. And frankly, I can't tell them apart, so print quality, it's about the same. Now just for a reference, if I used Cura and their base low quality at 15% infill on an Ender 3, it would take 5 hours and 7 minutes. But I have my extra fast profile. So at the same 15% infill, my extra fast 0 0.28, 2 hours and 46 minutes. So I cut that in half. Actual print time is a little longer at 175 minutes and the quality is quite good. There is a thin wall on the side here, it didn't print great, but otherwise this print is fine. The next step was to print it on the Bamboo Lab X1. I'm going to use Bamboo Studio to slice it. So I selected the 0.28 profile that's built in, made sure I got a 15% infill, and then I sliced it. And it said it would take 1 hour and 2 minutes or 64 minutes total print time. Actual print time was actually 69 minutes, so a little bit longer. It did have a problem with that thin wall and a little bit of surface problem on the top. But other than that, everything was fine. Next, I used the Creality K1. This is the same bed size as an Ender 3. It's on sale right now for $399. I used Creality Print to slice it at a 0.28 layer height, 15% infill, and it said 68 minutes to print this, a little bit longer. But actual print time was actually 62 minutes, so a little bit faster. And print quality was actually really good. That thin wall came out better and the top surface was smooth. Next is the K1 Max. This is the bigger of the three. $719 is its sale price right now. I use Creality Print, the same 0.28 layer height. It said 58 minutes to print. Actual print time, 58 minutes, spot on. Now I did use the same filament, just in blue, because I ran out of red. The thin wall came out better than the other two. 
I can see a little infill on the top surface, but it's the same settings, the same number of top layers, so it's the color blue is letting that come through. Otherwise, this thing is perfect, and the board actually fit this one better than the other three. I found another spool of red, I put it on the K1 Max, and I printed it. 58 minutes later, I had this. This is the best one of the bunch. Everything fit fine. I'm happy with the result. The Ender 3 V3 SE is a great printer for $199. It's the best Ender 3 I've ever used, and I'm getting great prints off of it. They're just a lot slower than these things behind me. And I can't print high temperature filaments, and it's not an enclosure, so it's limited in what it can do. But at $199, it's a great starter printer. It took four different design iterations in Tinkercad to get to the one I like. So I did three different ones, learned from it, and then the fourth one was the final version. And when I printed them on the K1 Max, each one took about an hour. So four hours to get to this point. Where with the Ender 3 SE, it would have taken 12 hours to do the same thing. So that's why I'm addicted to speed. The fact that I can do what would normally take 12 hours with an Ender 3, I can now do with the K1 Max in four hours. I can't go back. But what I do go back to, PCBWay.com. Anytime I need a circuit board, I can get 10 boards for five bucks plus shipping. PCBWay.com. Just upload your Gerber files from your board layout software like KeyCAD, check all your settings, and then verify the price. 10 boards for five bucks plus shipping to the U.S. is $25.86. Want to check your boards before you ship them? They have a Gerber viewer so you can check everything is right before you order the boards and just click on get an instant PCB quote. So check out PCBWay.com for your circuit boards today. Creality is having an early Black Friday sale on all these printers, so if you're looking to get one, now's a great time to do it. You don't have to use my affiliate links in the description below, but get one now while they're on sale. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.